I asked you to back off. And you thought I was bluffing, right? Of course I know you're bluffing. What? Of course you're bluffing. Now tell me who's bluffing now. Tell me who's fucking bluffing now! Are we going to do this again? Seriously? Shut the fuck up! I'm the one with the gun here and not you. So I do the talking while you do the listening. Huh? I told you. I told you I was going to put an end to your miserable life. Yes, if that would be the only way to get back everything you stole from me. And now's the time. I'm going to freaking do it. I swear, I'm going to kill you. Now I know you're bluffing. I'm ready to die. I'm fucking ready to die. Then I'm telling you to shut up. Shut up. What are you talking about? Like you shoot me? You can't shoot me. No. Listen, first things first. There is no pressure on the trigger, so nothing will come out of this nozzle. Look at your finger, all right? Secondly, if you were that stupid enough to shoot, it will attract people because there will be noise. Thirdly, while you were driving in, there were surveillance cameras everywhere. And while you've been talking nonsense, braggadash, that is a surveillance camera there. There's another one taking footages of you here. So what are you talking about? I dare you, go on, shoot. Nothing. Here's one. I know you. You like good things of life. You like the paraphernalia you're controlling right now. You cannot shoot me. Because if you shoot me, first things first, father is never going to forgive you. Secondly, you're going to be a fugitive, okay? You'll be gone, wasted, your freedom gone. Again, you're going to lose every single right you have in this kingdom. And thirdly, again, you are going to lose everything. I mean, I mean everything, every single share in this company. That is it. So I'm telling you this. I'm giving you three words right now. I dare you. Shoot. I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to fucking kill you. Frederick is not taking his course still. Your Majesty, what is really going on? Are you sure all is well with our son? My Queen, don't get yourself worked up unnecessarily. I'm sure he's fine. So why is he not taking his calls? It's over 40 minutes he's been there, everybody's calling. So how do we explain it? I don't need to remind you that your son is a workaholic. It's possible he's attending to some pertinent issues in the company and may have left his phone in his office. And forgot your appointment with him and the commissioner for works. This is not like him. You know it. Definitely unlike him. 
but um, never mind. I think I have to be on my way for the meeting already. Um, I will stop by the office and pick him up. Okay, so just calm down. It's okay. You you take care. Thank you. Emeka. Majesty, as I've been saying, 
from the evidence I gathered in this case, I think this is a kidnap. Huh? Yes. Hey! Hey! My Frederick. Kidnapped? Yes. Dick hey. Daddy, what are you doing? Find my son! Find him before those hoodlums hurt my son! Do something! He brought police, you know, no? Detective! Yes. Who in his right senses will ever conceive the idea of kidnapping my son in my own kingdom? Who? I, I, I don't know. Well, as you speak right now, uh, my boys, they are on it. They are on it right now. But before we can be able to crack this case, I think we need a clue. Your Highness, please think. Is there anybody that is fighting against the royal house? Like, say, um, uh, the chief priest, the chief guard, any rival business partner at all? Is there any that is against you so we can start from there? Um, none that I can think of right now. But if anything comes up, I will let you know. In the interim, I don't want you to rest in your oars. Don't be deterred in trying to fish out those miscreants that kidnapped my, my, my son. Your Majesty, you can count on us. The police are your friends. Oh, now this kidnap. Do something. I don't want their friendship. Just do something. Give me a result. Uh, we'll get you the result, Your Majesty. Uh, your Majesty, I'll take my leave now. It's all right. I Seriously, y'all are invading my privacy. I can see that uh, you are in a celebratory mood. And uh, the reason for that is not far fetched. What is that supposed to mean? Leonard, bring down your legs. You can't talk to your father like that. With your legs. Bring them down. So what's up? Where is your brother, Frederick? <sighs> Father. Since when did I become Frederick's babysitter? Why bug me with his whereabouts? Let me ask you this. What exactly do you stand to benefit from this? Is it a ransom? Or you want to eliminate him so that you can clear the way for yourself? What? What are you talking about? I give you till nightfall. If your brother does not return to this palace, Mom, what's going on? What's father talking about? Mom! What's wrong with everybody? you are the superpower. No one is born with the positive passion. This power you see is ingenuated by inspiration. It's ingenuated. What am I doing here? Why am I here? Where is this place? Please. 
Well, I am Ajon Wasio Wilebanyana for with an annoying sense of entitlement. Does this place look like your father's palace? Where you order people around? Where people are at your beck and call? Eh? No, no, not at all. Not at all, please. Please, I, I'm, I'm sorry if my words do sound revolting to you. I'm so sorry. I, I, I just, I just, you know, want to know. Shut up. Shut up. What do you want to do? Eh? An angry man is a devilish man. Get that shut up. My brother, please. Thank you. I, I, I just want to know why you're doing this. Why am I here? That's all I want to know. Please. It's all right. If you must know, here is known as a dead zone. The last place to be before you join your ancestors. My God. Yes. My God. You speak perfect English. What made you end up in this kind of business? How dare you? How dare you? Father. That is bad enough that Frederick was kidnapped. But the truth is, I have nothing to do with this. I didn't do it. Then who did? No, tell me who did it? You were the only self acclaimed rival that your brother has. And you have vowed to deal with him, to eliminate him at all costs. Father, well, you just don't understand. Frederick is not the man he claims he is. Frederick has made countless numbers of enemies with his dubious lifestyle. Very sure one of those people kidnapped him. That is, if he was truly kidnapped. Shut up. Just shut your mouth, Leonard. Your brother is kidnapped and you are talking rubbish. I didn't want to believe you had a hand in his kidnap. But with everything you're doing here and now, you're giving me reasons, enough of it, to doubt you have a hand in all this. What is this? Mother, I did not do this. Why would you think of me like that? Isn't it obvious? You have always threatened to get your brother out of the way, haven't you? I know, but I, I, don't, I don't think that... Will you just shut up? Shut up! Now I give you the nightfall to bring your brother back from wherever you kept him. As I will treat you like a common criminal that told you slave. You can treat me like that. You can't treat me like that. I'm your son. Shut up. Just get out. You should be responsible for all your acts and actions. Get out. Just leave here. Go and bring back your brother. You may think that faith and love. A strange, mm. but they are powerful things. Powerful things, they are powerful things. They can work wonders, fate and love. So, my look where you are. Stop fighting your brother. Show him some love. Stop fighting your brother. I got to do for my son? What to him? Who knows whether he's safe even wherever he is? My queen, my queen, please calm down. Okay, calm down. Eh? Don't, don't get yourself worked up. He's, he's going to return back, I'm sure. You just said I should come down. My son, our son is missing. This is 11 p.m. in the night. And no trace of him is I should come down. How? How do you want me to come down? Look, you don't need to scream. The police have assured us. Eh? They said they will find him and they will bring him back safely. So what will be, Nico? Really? Do you see how you have lost the whole thing? When have the police ever lived up to their expectation? Anytime situations like this arise, they will tell you we are need. When they do nothing. Don't ever bring the police into this matter. Let us go and do something and get our son back. What's in, what's in police? 
Which police? Call their friends, call the police, the, 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 the top shots, you know. Call them, let them do something. Which police? Uh -huh. Positive passion in Malaga. Cause this flower you see is incinerated by this. Wow. Who with this man? I want to see the keeper. Even waste time. Calm down. Go sleep too. I need to call boss before we play them. See, if boss don't be weak, you come out with me. No, no, no. Calm down first. Calm down. Calm down. No, I can't believe you said this. Our son is missing. My son is missing. Look, my queen, you, you, you seem to forget something. Is he calling my son? Eh? So I'm as interested in his well-being as you. It is as you are. He doesn't seem so at all. It doesn't seem so. Our son is in the hands of God knows who. And you have done nothing except the police. Do something. Give me a get. For that point to be given out, nobody's asking for ransom. Nobody's even calling to tell us that they, 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 they are holding him. Means it's more than a male kidnap. It is more than meets the eyes in this matter. It means someone close is aware of this and has to be apprehended as quickly as possible. This is time to walk. Do something. I think you're right. Uh, uh, hello? Yes, detective. Uh, yes, I'm sorry for calling you at this uh, time of the night. Oh, yes. Please, I need you to come to the palace tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow morning. It's alright. Thank you. So, what are you planning to do now? Let's wait till tomorrow. Hi! Tomorrow is too far. Tomorrow is too far. Your Majesty, tomorrow is too far. You may think that faith and love are strange, mm. but they are powerful things. Powerful things. They are powerful things. They can work wonders. Faith and love. Stop fighting your brother Show him some love Stop fighting your brother Arrogant priest Stop this power tossing
Paul's just said that he's in Check me, I found the guy. See, let me do anything to the guy. I'm doing good for the house. This morning, I'm going to go to the house. This morning, we are here. to do and get back to me immediately. Y'all, no fuck ups. No one is born with the positive passion. Cause this power you see is incinerated by inspiration. It's incinerated by inspiration. <laughs> Only following the king's order. What fucking order are you talking about? What fucking order are you talking about? Are you talking about, bro? Open the fucking gates, I said. Actress, the king gave an order you should not be allowed out of this palace this morning until he says otherwise. What the fuck? You go back to your place. Fucking take this. What fucking order are you talking about? Yo! Yo, Pops. What's going on? Why would you embarrass me for the way all steamboats like this? Why? What embarrassment are you talking about? Oh, come on, Father. Don't just sit there and act like you do not know what I'm talking about when you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, it appears 
you have nothing to talk about, you can go ahead and rant or shout. Father, why would the Oxygas not let me out of the palace? Why would it give them such instructions against me? Take the call. It appears this is the wrong place for you to take the call, I presume. Father, I do not know what you're trying to get out of this. But this is my phone. My freaking phone. I have the right to take my calls or not. It is my choice. Will you stop screaming, my friend? What is going on here? Mother, I do not understand what's going on. I should be asking you this question. Everyone in this palace is acting weird. Can you cut the drama and answer my question? Fine. I'll tell you. I was about leaving the palace, and then the guards asked me not to leave because Father instructed them not to let me out. Why would Father give them such instructions against his own son? Why? Your Majesty? The king awaits your arrival. Take me there. Of course. Come. Your Majesty, you are not saying anything. Is there anything you know that I need to know too? Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, oh. Your Majesty. Detective, be fine. Your work. Thank you very much. Detective. Yeah. What is the situation? Any news about my son? Uh, none for now. None. We actually came on His Majesty's request. Uh, Your Majesty, has anyone contacted you for any ransom? <sighs> Not at all. Um, well, but. That is not the reason I sent for you. Okay. I have a suspect that I will want you to interrogate. I'm very sure that he has something to say about the kidnap. That would be very useful. That's beautiful. If I may ask your majesty, who is this suspect? Oh, your highness, please, I must give this call. Hello? Officer? What? 
Yeah. Good. Have you done all the necessary? I'm coming there. I'm coming there. Oh, uh, your Highness, please help uh, what you respect. There is a bad news. Doctor, where is my son? Majesty, thank God you're here. I was just about calling His Majesty. I ask again, where is he? He's in the theater at the moment, and I'm afraid he doesn't look so good. Oh my goodness. So, what are his chances? Well, too early to call, but I would say 50-50 for now. We've been able to pull out the bullets and some fragments, but he lost a lot of blood in the process, and must be transfused with the matching blood immediately. Okay. So, please get across to your son, Prince Leo, because his blood samples will be needed. I'll do that immediately. And you please follow me to the lab for your blood samples to be taken because we don't have much time left. After you, after you. May the gods of God forbid. I didn't know he was kidnapped. I was with um, EJ, I don't know, when we saw a little boy running, running towards us. And when we asked, and he said, Prince Frederick had been shot by the roadside. What happened? This is indeed strange. Who could want Prince Frederick dead? Your Majesty, please, how is he? What is his condition now? Well, I can't say. I've not heard anything. Not from the Queen, not from the hospital. Hello, Doctor. Uh, Doctor, please. Which of the blood samples matches with his? No, Your Majesty. How? I don't understand. Your Majesty, I'm as shocked as you are. Something is just not right here. But I don't want to draw conclusions yet. His Majesty will be the next available option that we have. Then let me quickly call him. Oh, no, no. I've, I've called him already. I've equally sent a nurse to get his blood samples because t time is really taking fast. I still can't believe Prince Frederick was kidnapped and shot in this village. Hmm. Who could have done such evil? Hi. Isn't it obvious who did? What are you talking about? I don't know. Are you suspecting anyone? We are not talking about suspicion here. We're talking about reality. Reality. You still haven't said anything meaningful. What is the reality? Anyway, okay. Uh, all right. The reality is that Prince Leonard did. What? Are you sure of what you're saying? Are you sure? Why are you surprised at it? Isn't it obvious? 
Isn't it obvious that he did it? Hmm. I think I will agree with you. Prince Leonan has been threatening Prince Frederick countless number of times, even in our presence. So I don't think we should look beyond him this time around. But this is strange. This is very strange. This has never been heard of in the history of our great kingdom. But unfortunately, Prince Leonard has changed the course of our history. Wow. Oh. Painful. This is an abomination. If I have My fellow elders, the question now is what are we going to do? We have no choice. We have no choice but to hope that Frederick returns back. Now we know the next line of action. But we must leave no stone in town. You are correct. <laughs> yes. Myself. Hey. Hey. Who would have thought that? The politics of our of our palace. <laughs> Doctor, what do you mean they didn't match? Huh? You mean my blood? That of my wife, the queen? And even his own twin brother's blood didn't match? I'm sorry, your majesty, but that's the situation on ground now. And you expect me to take that? Why am I sensing incompetency here? Your majesty, I can understand your points very correctly. But then I can assure you that this has got nothing to do with incompetence. It has nothing to do with incompetence. So to, to tell me, how, how would you explain the puzzle that... Uh, there is no single person from the royal household that the blood matches that of my son. How possible is that? Your Majesty, it's actually hard to explain for now. But notwithstanding, we will unravel it. It's alright. So, what are we going to do now? I mean, what do we do about the blood transfusion? Oh, it's going on now, so speak, Your Majesty. I had to order for a matching blood. With the approval of the Queen, since reaching out to you is going to take much of our time. It's alright. But, but you better have a good explanation for this madness. How is this possible? How in the name of the gods is this possible? Emeka. Take. Call Dr. Raymond. Tell him to see me immediately. Frederick, this is time to fight. If you must make it out of here alive and strong, you have to fight. Fight for your life. Fred, fight. Doctor, what's the situation? What are you starting the blood transfusion? Do you mind, please? Can I see you in my office? Now? Yes, please, if you don't mind. After you, okay. Doctor, you're not saying anything. Is anything wrong with my son? Um, not exactly, Your Majesty. I had to call you here first because of the ethics of my profession, so I can hear from you first. But His Majesty will have to hear about it. Doctor, you're confusing me and scaring me at the same time. What is the problem? I'm sorry to ask you this, Your Majesty, but are you the biological mother of um, Prince Frederick? What is that supposed to mean? Of course I am. He's a twin brother to Prince Leonard. Is there anything the matter? 
This is really serious. So who then is his biological father? What? I don't understand. What does it mean of what to just altered now? Well, your genotype is AA. Your husband's genotype is AA. Prince Leonard's genotype is also AA. But Prince Frederick's genotype is AS. So, how come? What is the meaning of that? I don't understand. He is my son. His Majesty is his father. So I don't understand anything you are talking about. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but that's the situation we have on the ground now. Like I said earlier, I want us to have this conversation alone first. But I'm afraid His Majesty will still get to know about it eventually. My prince, it's me, Emeka. What the fuck you want? His Majesty, the King, asked me to call you immediately. Alright, go tell him I'm coming. Father, you called. Detective. Your Highness. This is the suspect. What? Your Highness. Interrogate him very well. I believe he has a lot to confess. Father. Prince Leonard. Officers. Take this criminal out of my sight. Now. Oh, I think you have to follow us down to the station for questioning, Prince Leonard. Officer, you have no right to arrest me for mere suspicion. I have done nothing. You have no evidence against me. Prince Leonard, like I said before, this is not an arrest. I'm only taking you in for questioning. So I don't know where you got that mere suspicion and evidence from. I'm only taking you in for questioning, so with all due respect, can we go now? Fine. I'll ride behind you. I told you this before and I'm telling you again, man. I've got nothing with my brother's kid now. I've got nothing, man. You got nothing to your brother, Prince Frederick Kingman, right? Yo! But you threatened to take your brother, Prince Frederick, out of the road, either by hook or by crook on numerous occasions. Now, was just going to get in that and was short. What do you tell me? What do you make about that? You yo, yo, me? yo, yo, come on, man. Those were empty threats. Only, only plan to subdue him, man. I got nothing with that, bro. 
Please, I, I, I don't, I don't get you. We should do the empty trade. I plan to subdue. We should subdue. Please, be exact. Listen, listen, man. My father was planning to name him heir to the throne at my expense. I just had a fight back. That's all. So is that the reason you tried to kill him? I beg your pardon. We are investigating to unmask the man behind the kidnap and attempted murder of your twin brother. And as a detective, every information I can lay my hands on right now will be useful to me. Uh, anyway, you can go now. You are not under arrest. But I will be needing you for that question. It's not a problem, detective. I got nothing to do with this. My sister, wonder shall never end. Nothing's impossible again in this world of passion. Tell me already what's happening. I had everything. What did you hear? This palace is on fire as we speak. The unimaginable has happened. You are saying many things without saying anything. What is it? What did you hear? I heard the royal doctor telling the king what that... What is wrong family? God forbid. God forbid when all you do is to eavesdrop on other people's private conversation and gossip with it. You know what? I think I'll have to tell the king about this. No, Emeka, please, you don't have to do that. In fact, I didn't hear anything. It was all a joke. A joke? <laughs> I think the king would love to laugh about this joke too. No, Emeka, please, you don't have to do that. Don't mind Emeka. He's not going to do anything. I know him. Uh -huh. What did you say the way I do to the king? That you are an Obanja, you should be thrown out of this palace. Rubbish. It is you that's an Obanja. Ew. It is indeed a great joy that we are all gathered here today. For the first time in the history of this great land, the gods blessed us with a set of twins. We all watch them grow to adulthood. We all know that our king was the first monarch to have a BSc and also a PhD in this part of the country. Just as our people would say, a liar begets a liar. <laughs> Hence, the twins went in search of a greater knowledge in a white man's land, a knowledge that will be beneficial to them, also to the royal household, and to bring this kingdom to a greater height. Mm. We are all here today to welcome them back to the land of their fathers, yes. and also to celebrate their achievements. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Leonard and Frederick, please permit me to welcome you on behalf of the royal household and the entire kingdom, once again, 
I say you are all welcome. Yo, thank you, man. <laughs> thank you, man. EJ, you spoke all well. Thank you, man. As you can see, I am very, very happy. See my boys? I used to tease my queen. Yeah, that too. Those two fantastic boys took after me. Uh, in terms of my IQ. <laughs> but she used to argue. Uh, well, I also give it to her because she's equally very intelligent. <laughs> so, um, my, my joy knows no bound. As I welcome my boys from the white man's land after years of studying, you know, abroad. Um, a good father prays that the children should be greater than him. And my sons have um, made me proud and uh, their strides in terms of achievement abroad is in that regard, all right? Um, right now, I think I can comfortably join my ancestors because my kingdom is now in safer hands. <laughs> Your Majesty, you're right. When they were traveling abroad, I was a little bit afraid that uh, they might be distracted by the beautiful white women over there or the good life they have over there. But looking at them, I can see that that was never the case at all. Oh, <laughs> I trust my children. <laughs> please, uh, please, please, please. I don't know what you make of us, but the reality of it all is we know where we are coming from. You know, we always knew that. And again, you know, my quest for knowledge actually did not make me distracted by any woman of any race, you know, be her white, black, Latina, green, indigo, whatever race it is, okay? Reason I came back as a BSc, MBA, and PhD holder. Oh, oh that's wonderful. <laughs> that is good. Yes, yes. Well, knowing who you are, Prince Frederick, I'm not surprised. Thank you. I congratulate you. You're welcome to our you. life at us, not knowing space. Talking about achievements, Prince Leonard, I trust you did better than your twin brother. everybody, including your father, the king. Mom. Yes? I'm jet lagged and tired. Right now I need to rest. Jet lag? It doesn't seem so. Your mood changed immediately. Oh, Mom, please don't make a force out of this. I spent 13 hours on the flight and three hours on the road down to the village. Please, I'm tired. I need to rest. But you were on the same flight with your brother, Oh, wasn't it? Oh, come on, Mom. Please don't do this right now. Okay? That's my brother, not me. Listen. Frederick and I might be twin brothers, but we are world apart. Alright? He can sit there and talk all day like a child. I don't care. I'm tired and I need to rest. And Mom, if you don't mind, please, I would like you to leave. I need to rest. Leonard? Mom! Okay, I, I will leave. But I will ask Chisum to bring food for you so that you eat. You need to eat. Oh, please, I am not interested. Thank you. L listen, I will accept anything, but definitely not a no. 
I specially made that food for you and your brother. Considering the distance to this village, I know you must be famished by now. So I'm bringing you the food. Excuse me. Chisom is coming back. My elders, please, please, please. I am so, so sorry. I am so sorry as to what happened. My, my king. Is the king coming? No, 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 no. Okay, no need. No, 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 no. The king is not coming. I'm sorry. You see, my brother had a very terrible experience in Canada. So anytime you know he remembers it, he just has this mood swing. So please, this is what happened in there. So I'm very sorry as to what happened. I'm very, very sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. I want to thank you for trying to handle the situation. Thank you. Uh, but I know that uh, we cannot be more angry than the king. Just know what you have to do to harmonize the whole situation. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you very much, my Yes. Brother. You are indeed a good man. But make sure your brother apologizes to the king. Of course. I could see the embarrassment and bitterness on his face. Of course, he will definitely do that. I'm very sorry. I'll get back to you, <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> later on. I'm very sorry, my chiefs. Very <laughs> sorry. Will? Yes. Who's talking about Will here? Because I am. And the way you're struggling for juice and emphasizing on my juice, it seems that father has already willed some of his properties to you and uh, all the juice in this house <laughs> as well. <laughs> Father, can you stop? Oh my God. Yes. Never cease to amaze me. Of course, of course. I just keep trying. I just keep trying. So, where's father? He's fine. He's taking a nap. Oh, yeah. Actually, the man needs it. I mean, he's been through a lot lately. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown, indeed. Yes. Honestly, you're yes. right. Yes. It's been yes. hectic. I know. I it's know. been rough. I know. I know. He'll get by. He'll get by. He'll get by. <laughs> I saw you with Chisom earlier. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about, really. And did I say anything, really? I, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I know you're up to something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to be part of this conversation. I'm not, I, seriously, I'm not going to be part of it.